is up. My fellow Call of Duty Elite Game and Stud Muffin Athletes, Ghost of Bait, coming at you with a super f***ing awesome video. We've got to expose some two boxing, cheating, doxing, degenerate, no dead having, punk, straight marks. And we are going to expose them today. So how do we start this video off? We start off by this. You know the YouTuber by the name of the Rick just hit 20,000 subscribers. The only dude making Call of Duty YouTube content out here I actually like. The rest of these guys out here are a bunch of goddamn click bait and grift and rage bait and homos. Nonetheless, the Rick is the stud. He's my son. Hope you're doing well, son. Love you. Up. Oh. That's his mom texting me right now. She wants me to come over for a booty call later. Sorry, babe, I'm making a YouTube video. But the Rick is the main focus of this video and what has happened to him for exposing these two box and reverse boost and bitch asses, okay? This is what's going down. The Rick has been making videos exposing people like the hero and this other degenerate, no life having dickhead, I don't know what his name, X-Pro, MVZ, some fat face, wanted looking like mystical, broke ass, not having a whole lot going on, dead ass channel, considering the guy's got 554,000 subscribers, probably, I don't know how the hell, it's a dead channel, the dude gets less views than me, and he's got half a million subscribers, everyone has realized this dude sucks, I don't know if he uh, sub bought or whatever, because this guy is done, so I don't understand why he's being such a bitch about things, because no one cares about his opinion, but nonetheless, he out here doxing people, but we also got this fat face down syndrome looking guy who looks like he's had a stroke by the name of hero also fat as well there seems to be a theme here these guys are all fat probably could have sit in our ass all day two box and playing call of duty but we have this dude hero who looks like a down syndrome mexican guy and we also have this frizz eyes guy who is also of i believe the mexican uh persuasion he is a pen Right, breaking news here live as I was about to put this video up on YouTube. Frizz Eyes reached out to me in the direct messages to clear his name and to give his side of the doxing situation. So he said he wanted to let me know I did not dox anybody. I repeated the name that Hero said months ago. I do not play around when it comes to that stuff. The exposing videos you and him make, I don't take personally. And even if I did, I'd never do something like that. So I replied back, okay, what do you mean by repeating a name that Hero said months ago? Just Rick's name, like his last name too. That's not really doxing, just being lame. His reply back was, Hero said something along the lines of Mrs. wouldn't like that, referring to his fiance. I said the same thing in his chat, referring to the ad instances when Hero said that. That is literally it. So he is saying that he was giving the name of Rick's fiance, her whole name or Rick's last name, I guess, because she's gonna be marrying him, it doesn't matter. Kind of lame nonetheless to bring in someone's wife or girlfriend and giving her name and putting her on blast. Not doxing really, but kind of not a cool thing to do. And I believe that would be an apology situation there for his eyes because what are you doing talking about the dude's fiance or wife's real name when we're talking about Call of Duty? Kind of pathetic behavior. We now join our regularly scheduled program already in progress. So yes, the Rick has been making some Call of Duty videos exposing two boxing, which has been going on for a long, long time and exposing dudes for cheating, which is cheating, right? There's a difference between cheating and hacking that for the uh, smooth brain morons out there who have downs as well. Hacking is when you have like actual little downloaded cheats by cheat providers like aimbot wall hacks. That's hacking. Cheating would be using an unlock tool or reverse boosting or two boxing. Now I've been saying two boxing a lot. Maybe some of you so far in this video are like, Hey, ghost of eight, you big stud, super sexual, come over and bang my mom. It's cool because you'd be a better dad than my dad. What the fuck is two boxing? Well, two boxing is this. You have your primary account that you play on. Let's say it's on Xbox or PC or PlayStation 5. Then you go and buy a secondary copy of the said Call of Duty you want to play on a different platform. And you dump that account by playing in a few lobbies and you play like an absolute retard with missing every shot and having a horrible KD. And then you take that secondary account, you join a lobby, you start a matchmaking process of finding a game, and then on your main account, you join that session. Like, you, you're friends, by the way, I forgot to introduce that part. Speaking of Downs, my name is Ghost of A. Hit that like button and subscribe to help support your local Down Syndrome Call of Duty YouTuber. I appreciate it. So you're friends, and you just join session on the shit account, and then you get put into dumb, dumb lobbies. So the Rick has recently jumped on this and was exposing people like Frizz Eyes and X-Pro VBZ Fat Face Broken 
ass mystical looking guy and down syndrome stroke having hero for reverse boosting two boxing right and lying about it and trying to you know expose it there's another guy too shit i forget his name he's involved in two boxing uh he's a black guy too it kind of looks like pro v ma's younger uh chubbier brother and he openly admitted to two boxing and saying that everybody two box there's another black guy seems to be a theme here with the national a lot of black dudes don't get it twisted there's a lot of white dudes out here doing it too but uh for whatever reason uh these a lot of dudes out here who have to be of the african-american orientation who are uh participating in this degenerate behavior <laughs> Get mad, bitches. We like to make jokes here. If you can't handle it, go put your panties on and uh, dress up and head on down to the local uh, furry convention, you fucking... So, they got exposed for two boxing. And Rick was doing a live stream about this original guy, Sack Zoo, who also has a broke-ass mystical braids going on as well. So, Rick did a bunch of videos exposing him. And then Rick did a live stream where he had a bunch of people watching. And Sack Zoo and all his fanboys. And everybody was jumping in on it. And some other black content creators as well. Because they all have to stick together because we don't have a dad. You know what I'm saying? You got to find your brotherhood somewhere. Boom. Roasted. God, this is going to piss so many of you off. And I love it. Get mad, bitches. Get mad. <laughs> you got to take jokes. But it's not jokes. It's true. <laughs> But what ended up happening was, is that, well, this live stream was going on and all these beta male bitches were getting exposed for being two box and emotional women getting their feelings all hurt. They went on to dox the Rick. People started to find his name and find his Facebooks and TikToks and proceeded to dump all of his personal information as well as Rick's fiance's information and her name all on the social medias and then all their fanboys and whatnot started to dump all of his information on all of his videos and comment and spam his Twitters and like I said, TikToks and his own personal Facebook and they doxed him. Yeah, that's pretty much long story short. So he had like this pro V mod V guy doxed him. But first of all, I forgot to make clear, Hero was the first guy to dox the Rick. That's where it all started because Hero looks like he's been hit in the side of the head by a baseball bat or kicked by a horse so you know he doesn't have probably the best cognitive abilities but then this pro vmfx guy fat face dude out here who thinks he's some hardcore gamer with a dead channel probably he has somehow bought it for the subscribers he jumped in on it and then the saxu guy i don't think saxu was involved in the actual doxings make that clear he just got his feelings and emotions hurt uh because rick exposed him for two boxing which he openly admitted yeah he does and all the streamers do so yeah 99 percent of all these guys you see with amazing gameplay are playing in mentally challenged lobbies that they reverse boosted two boxed in whatever i'm not talking about that you may like it may not like it we're talking about doxing which is bullshit all the way around then this frizz eyes guy got involved as well and he tried to say he didn't but he started spreading his name rick's real name and whatnot on the internet but then tried to you know direct message message rick and say oh, i didn't do that but he was lying full of shit as well because he knows that will kill your career and it's actually i think it's illegal is it illegal to dox people i don't know you should get castrated for doing such lame ass gay shit because you ain't gonna use your balls anymore because only bitches would do that kind of behavior or support that type of behavior so long story short to finish it off and put it all together really quickly here in the end the rick was making exposed videos for dudes reverse boosting by saxu hero pro v m v z whatever that is the epileptic name frizz eyes all these dudes you could name any of these guys they're all reverse boosting two box and but he started to expose them and then hero was the first to dox them and then this pro vm vz guy jumped in and then frizz eyes jumped in and all the other people jumped in and there was some other guy that also jumped in who was a black content creator who has about 300 000 subscribers whose name i cannot find but he jumped in on it and then yeah uh, they're all bitches and then Rick took down the stream and now says he is going to quit making exposed videos because he can't handle the heat because he's a little baby that's right Rick you little pussy out of here Rick you need to stand strong you need to tell these you don't let these bullies bully you don't let them bully you you say come on and dox me you live in Chicago don't you yeah that might be dangerous these dudes uh, might shoot you that's true Chicago has a lot of shootings by certain people who look like these dudes just gonna say it. get mad some more for the facts facts don't care about your feelings I'm dropping truth bombs out here yeah no, I'm not being honest. All right, there's a lot of white trash morons living in West Virginia as well. I would like to have IQs of 50 who date their cousins, all right? We're just keeping it real, all right? And this situation calls for this. We're talking about West Virginia cousins. I'll expose them too, but at this point, it's not. It's all these black dudes and Mexican looking people and whatnot at this point. So, whatever. I'm the Gulf of Eight. These guys are all a bunch of reverse boosted, two boxing, doxing, baby ass bitches. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Pound sand, you nerds. Ghost of Eight out here, keeping it real, packing the steel, watching out for the judge. You may or may not have a grudge. And last but not least, and most importantly, stay black. Question authority. And don't let the honky cracker, please, shapeshifters, bring you down. Oh,